Welcome back guys. I appreciate you being here and hanging out in today's video. As always, we're going to look at three UFO clips that you guys have been sending me. You've been busy sending me loads of cool clips over on our Discord. By the way, you can do the same. The link to our Discord is in the description. You just have to click it and make sure you have Discord installed, obviously. And then you'll join the community. You can talk to me, share your thoughts with other UFO enthusiasts and talk about anything you really want. It's a great community, so join the Discord even if you don't want to share clips with me. But I always appreciate you guys sharing clips with me over on the Discord server, and that's what you guys have been doing. So I've got three quite exciting clips for you guys today. The first one was a tricky one to debunk, right? I, I looked at it, took me a while to get behind it, and then the second and third one, they're almost humorous. But we get to that when we get to it. But let's get started on the first video, but before we do that... Make sure to smash the like button, okay? I would greatly appreciate that. And the YouTube algorithm appreciates that as well. YouTube algorithm loves the likes, okay? It understands that people enjoy this type of content. So please smash it now. Let's get into the first clip. Now, this one was published on Reddit. I haven't seen it anywhere else. And it is titled, Anyone Seen This in the Bay Area, California? Power went out seconds before, okay? Like adding a nice little bit of mystery there, right? Mysticism. The power just went out seconds before this mothership did this. In. And it's like, yeah, cool. You don't know if these two things are connected. I mean, admittedly, OP doesn't suggest directly that two things are connected, but it's the same when people post like, I saw an unidentified object in the sky and it was close to NASCAR. It's like, yeah, it <laughs> could also just be coincidence, right? I'm not sure why you suggest that in the title, but here you go. So a bit of mysticism there. Let's check out this clip. It starts kind of blurry. It doesn't have audio, unfortunately. Uh, but you can see, as he was just zooming out there, right, the power outage seems to be real. It was very dark, right? Look at the ground. There's almost no light, which then obviously, again, amplifies anything that's in the sky. That might have been why this person noticed it in the first place. But who knows? So what do we see? We see an object that seems to have the color of fire, right? And it's spawning these smaller, what looks to be orbs, that then descend down towards the ground. By the way, I just want to be really clear. That light that we see down here in the bottom right-hand side, I think is just a lance flare, okay? It is some other light reflecting. And you can see it later on. The person zooms down again, and you kind of, kind of see it in accordance to the camera movement, okay? It moves with the camera movement. So I, I'm not going to go into this. I mean, leave your thoughts on it down in the comment section below. If you think this little purple blob, blob in the bottom right here is anything that I should talk about, then let me know in the comments. I don't think it is. I want to focus on the light in the sky. It's a fiery object. It seems to be spawning these orbs. And people in the comments on Reddit, obviously, you know, very critical community, we know that, suggest that it's a mothership. It's a giant mothership hovering in the sky. And now it spawns these little micro orbs that all fly down to the Bay Area to check out Silicon Valley. I, I don't know what they would do down there. But here's, here's what's something interesting, right? Like if we look at this, and there's not much happening in the second half of this video. I'll link it down in the description if you want to check it out yourself. But it is similar to the footage we looked at previously, right? You remember in one of the previous videos, if not in the very last one, looked at these fiery objects in the sky and that were even flying horizontally, crossing lines and stuff. And it turned out those were parish paragliders, like people wearing wingsuits and parachutes or whatever and having flares attached to their feet. That's why they kind of slowly descend to the ground. And it looked kind of odd, similar look to this in terms of the object being like the color of fire. However, looking at these objects descending to Earth, I don't think that's what it is. Like if these would be paragliders or like parachute jumpers or something, they would be falling basically at free fall speed, right? That's how it looks to me. They're falling at free fall speed. So I don't think we're looking at paragliders or parachute wearing people with flares here or something. I don't think it's that. Now, what's interesting is that the critical community on Reddit in r slash UFOs posted this link, which is a link from the Wayback Machine, right? Which uncovers like layers of the internet that have long been gone and forgotten. And it is apparently a report that's a few years older and it reports and happening an occurrence with another UFO that happened in 2002. And I'm not going to go through the whole report, but it says that I'm an amateur astronomer since 1973. Okay, loads of credibility there. I'm very familiar not only with the night sky, but also with local air traffic and weather. And this person says he sighted an object again in 2002 in Hayward, California as well, 50 to 25 degrees above the horizon looking east. And he's going into quite a bit of detail you know, he's an amateur astronomer, you should be able to do that. And he says he discounted it being Mars or a satellite or a plane. At first he assumed it was a helicopter, but then later he discarded that as well. And he says that he used his binoculars and he says he spotted this object dropping a light from the bottom, which was not as bright, much smaller and slightly 
orange slash red, which moved very quickly at a right angle to the bright red light. I stated loudly, what is that? And continued to follow it with my binoculars. It then dropped four or five more small bright reddish orange lights that dropped quickly at a regular interval. And they seemed to just drop over the hills or the tree line. Both witnessed this, blah, blah, blah. So point being, this person or someone found this report, it's, it's a great find in this regard, saying that in 2002, also over California, someone had a very similar sighting. Now, one more thing that I forgot to point out is that these orbs don't fall 90 degrees straight down, right? They seem to move a little bit, almost like in the wind, right? Uh, depending on how the wind is in that situation, some of them drift slightly more to the right, some of them drift slightly more to the left. You can see it here uh, quite well. So it's not exactly that they're mechanically flying down all in like a perfectly technical angle, like maybe a control ship would do. Now, what are we looking here? Besides the obvious red flags that there's no sound to the clip, it's like surely your mobile phone that you recorded this with or whatever camera you used had a microphone attached to it. Why did you remove the audio? That's kind of still forgivable. But then again, why is there no other footage of it? Obviously, if there's like a big power outage in the Bay Area, everyone's looking at the sky. Not everyone, but a lot of people would. So why is this the only footage that we have of it? It kind of makes sense that everyone else kind of understood what it is looking at it. Now, here's what I think it is. Obviously, I wasn't there, but my feeling is we are looking at a Chinese lantern or something similar that is drifting through the sky. That's why it looks like it's burning that is spilling fuel or possibly a Chinese lantern body that has caught fire. That's why it's slightly bigger and more visible and it's kind of falling apart. Pieces of that actual lantern is like falling to the ground. That explains why it is falling at free fall speed. Basically, that explains why it looks like fire because it is literally an object on fire that is leaking fuel most probably. I think the fuel leak uh, theory is more likely than the whole lantern being on fire because I think lanterns, as soon as they're on fire, I mean, they wouldn't stay in the air as long as this object does in the beginning, which is a few seconds, right? It would pretty much very quickly, instantly lose integrity and the whole object would be descending. But what we see here is just fuel. It's just little pieces of fuel or maybe little pieces of the object that are on fire falling at free fall speed to the ground. So that's what that is. Well, that's just my take on it. That's an explanation that makes sense to me. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this footage. Maybe you have a different take on it. I don't claim to have the ultimate truth about this one, but that makes a lot of sense, right? It looks exactly like an object that is spilling fuel, something that is flammable, that falls to the ground in free fall speed. Leave your thoughts on this down in the comment section below. I'm not gonna give it a huge debunk. I'm gonna give it a, a medium-sized debunk. Medium-sized, okay? <laughs> Okay, there it is. I think I think it's a debunk. I think we can pretty much tell that that's what it is. It's explained. But again, leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. Moving on to the second clip. Now, I told you the second and the third clip, they're almost humorous, okay? But this one specifically had me for a moment. Let's take a look. It does have audio, so I want you guys to carefully listen. And as, as we're watching this, maybe leave your thoughts on it down in the comment section below, okay? Before we get into me explaining what it is, just write what you think it is as you're watching this. And then later you can come back, edit your comment and say, yeah, oh, I was right, or I got that one wrong. Let's go. Oh, in the f***ing making. Hey, video tape that shit. Dude, that shit is just That's rolling. a f***ing video. It's a... Aliens. It's an orb. I got an orb on video right now. A fucking orb. What the fuck is Unedited. It? Oh my god. What the Oh fuck? my god. Oh, by the way, the video is titled, uh, sorry to interrupt, but the video is titled Orb Skims Water, then goes below surface. Date and location unknown. We just don't know when this was recorded or by whom. But it's very mysterious. So we, we do have an orb. We have a bunch of young fellas reacting to the orb. And I'm not going to lie, like when I watched this footage first, I was like, something's off with these guys. Right? There's something not right with them. Right now, a fucking orb. What the fuck is Unedited. It? Oh my God. What? Let's wait. Oh my Wait God. for it. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's on the you surface the of the water. Yeah. It's on the surface, surface of the water. water. It's, oh, it's, it's, it's just skimming across the water right it's now. Got it's not above the water, it's on... Oh! Did you see it? Descending into the water, not making a single splash, right? So they are saying 
going to switch the audio off because I, I'm going to have to manually remove all these swear words, which is really painful. But he is saying that it's like an orb, and it does look like an orb. I mean, let's be honest, it's the worst video quality that I've ever seen in my life. Like, where where do these people in 2024, I mean, it doesn't say date or whatever was recorded, but where do these people get cameras that take such bad footage? It's just remarkable to me. Even I would even think like the cheapest phone you can find takes better footage in 2024, or even 2020 or whenever this was recorded. Then this, 480p. So here we have an orb. It looks white-ish, semi-transparent. Maybe it seems to have some kind of slightly darker core or something. Flying or skimming over the water, as the title says. And then towards the end of it, it seems to be descending into the water. Now, what's interesting is we can't really tell how far away this object is, right? Like we can't tell but like it is really close to the water, as these guys are suggesting, or whether it's closer to the camera. Also notice the way it looks when it descends into the water, right? Like, or allegedly descends into the water, right? It looks it looks odd. It just looks off. It does not look like something going into the water. If this would be like a physical sphere with some kind of solid surface, it just looks strange. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, no, well, bro, obviously it's an it's this alien spaceship. It looks weird when it goes into the water because it's going back to his USO a secret base at the bottom of the ocean. You're an idiot that you don't know that. But to be honest with you, <laughs> the guys who recorded this and commented over it are not the sharpest tool in the shed, okay? Because first of all, it's pretty clear the way they comment over it that they are not being entirely serious. And I don't understand how people can watch this and be like, no, bro, I don't notice any sarcastic tone of voice in these guys' commentary. It's like, no, it clearly, clearly they're pretending, right? That That's what it is. And then actually, and that's kind of why I said this is almost a humorous clip, the guy, <laughs> one of the guys, is giving the answer to what we're looking at in the video, okay? Listen carefully to what these guys are saying. I'm going to play it one more time for you guys. What the fuck is Unedited. This? Oh, my God. What the oh fuck? My God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did you hear what he just said? One more time. It's on. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Why would that S not pop already? <laughs> like, if you do a fake video like that, and even you're trying to be funny at least tell your friends to not mention what we're looking at. Maybe, maybe I mean, again, they're clearly not the brightest bulbs, okay? So here we have one of his friends just saying straight out what it is. Why would it not pop? And when, when I heard this, I was like, obviously, that's what it is. It's a soap bubble. It's just a soap bubble. <laughs> Probably flying two, three meters or like even closer, like a meter or two away from the camera hovering in the air and that's why the guy says why would it not pop already it's like don't say the quiet part out loud god damn it steve so it's just a soap bubble and that also explains why it disappears so weirdly towards the end there it does not go into the water it pops probably it's a fairly big bubble um, and the reason why i'm saying this is because you can literally see despite the bad quality how like whoop, the bubble loses integrity right when you have a big soap bubble you can see how the soap bubble uh, kind of loses integrity and almost melts. I don't know how to describe it, but it disappears to one side of it once it pops. So that's what we're witnessing here. So it's just that. It's a fairly big soap bubble, okay? But still a funny video. And I'm not going to lie. When I saw it first, I was like, what the hell is weird? I noticed the odd tone of voice in these guys' commentary, but I did not immediately understand what we are looking at. Anyway, guys, one last one, okay? And this has been shared with me a million times because this is, it's just humorous, okay? It's just funny. I'm gonna blur the little message here in the center out so it's not gonna spoil what it is because it might leave you questioning it for just a brief second. Let's take a look, it's just 10 seconds. Check this out. So amazing. I mean, it might come back. <laughs> it might come back. Amazingly crisp footage of this unidentified flying object. Well, guess what? It's been identified. If you haven't noticed it yourself yet. It's a tent, okay? It's just a tent. But the reason why I put this in here is because it gives you an idea. I mean, this guy, obviously, he put it over the screen that it's his tent and stuff. Well, well actually, it's, it not, it, it's not is his tent. It kind of was his tent. One could say it's past tense. I apologize. But the reason why I put it in here is because 
this is stuff that could absolutely mislead people. If there would be people down here on the ground and you're just far enough away from this object and you film it from the edge of those this forest down here or something, dude, I, I can already tell you, like UFO subreddits would lose their mind over it. Oh my God, sharpest footage ever. That's crazy. Like everyone left and right would believe it. This guy, luckily enough, is open enough to tell us what it is. But even if he wouldn't have said, that's my freaking tent over the, over the film itself, people would have still fallen for it, right? And it's just one of these things where... Knowing it, it's very obvious what it is, but if you wouldn't know what it is and you'd be down there on the ground and don't have the context of it, see it from a bit of a distance, maybe zoom into it and get like blurry zoomed footage, it would absolutely mislead the UFO community. And that's why I wanted to share it because sometimes the explanation is just ridiculously obvious. And if he says it might come back, it probably won't. I think the man lost his tent. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, tent. The tent is gone. Let's hope he found a safe place to sleep that night. I mean, it's got to come down somewhere, right? Maybe he's lucky and it lands somewhere down here and then he could, like, get it, recover it, so to say. Anyway, I'm going to worry about this man now. That is it for today, guys. Three clips. I told you, it's going to be a little bit more of a lighthearted episode. Not these killer serious uh, UFO videos that we usually look at. <laughs> I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much again. Don't forget to smash the like button. Join our Discord community. Subscribe to the channel for more, okay? I'm, I'm still collecting better clips for the next one that are a little bit more serious and need a bit more serious debunking. So we're going to do that in the next one. Stay tuned for that. It's coming up soon. Take care of yourself, guys. Have a great week, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Bye.